Hi students, continuation of our previous videos. Now we are going to see the third program. Write a program to find a factorial of a number. So first step is to open key and then create a new project. So now we are going to do factorial program. So I'm creating a folder called fact. Inside that, I'm creating a new project. Without any extension. Okay. So here we have to use LPC2148. And here in startup.s is not required, so we should do no. Next, file new. So here is our program. This is to write the program to find the factorial of a number. In this example, we have taken n is equal to 7. So we have used 7 here if you see. So start of the program is same as previous programs. So we are using 7. For we are going to find the factorial for 7. So 7 is being moved to R0 register. So your R0 will be having a value of 7. And also we are moving R0 to R1. So R0 to 7 and it is getting moved to R1 which is also equivalent to 7. Now we are going to enter into the fact loop where we are going to subtract R1 by 1 and store it in R1. So this is R1 minus 1 and the resultant will be stored in R1. Here in this example R1 is going to be 7 and so R1 is 7 minus 1 will become 6 and here R1 will become 6. So here when you are comparing R1 with 1, so CMP is compared, R1 is 6 and you are comparing R1 is equal to 1, so it is not equal to 1, so this is false, so it won't go to the next step because when you compare this, if it is true, it will execute BQ stop, now it won't execute the next step, so it will go to multiplication step. So what happens in the multiplication step? It will multiply R0 and R1. So our R0 is 7 and our R1 here which we subtracted is 6. So 7 into 6 will be stored in R3. Okay. So now R3 we are moving to R0 also. So now we are checking branches equal to 0. No. So it will just again execute the loop. So if any is then it will go to fact. That means it will execute the loop again. Okay. So here we have seen new mnemonic called BEQ. This is branch if equal to. So if branch is equal to in this comparison. Here we got in the first iteration 6. So if you are proceeding with all the iterations at one point of time R1 will become 1. That time R1 is equal to R1. So branch if equal to then go for stop. Right, so stop is here, it will not execute these three lines, it will directly come out of the loop and it will end the program. So I have done one iteration like this, the loop it proceeds till it attains 1 and compares 1 with 1 and comes to stop. Okay, so this is how the factorial program works. Let's just save and execute and show you. So we are going to save it with dot a some extension and then we are going to add the target so all these steps remain same as the previous programs only so now we are going to build the program so there is no errors here so just we are going to debug the program and say run and stop uh, if you see here, if you observe here, if you take n, the factorial of 7 is 7. So your factorial of 7 is 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Right? It is 5040 in decimal. So this has been converted into hex. And that is our answer in R3.
So the result is available in RT as well as in R0 because at the end of the program we are moving and we are syncing both the registers. So R you can consider output in R3 as well as R0. Both are in the same same numbers. So we just saw 7. Let's try to understand the smaller number than 7. We will take 3. Okay. So here now. Don't take this as an example. So now we are going to take 3. Save it. Build it. And then deeper. So now what is 3 factorial? 3 into 2 into 1. It should be 6. Right? So let us run and see the program. So here R3 is 6. So you are able to understand how this is working. So for a smaller number you can try with any other numbers also. Hope so you are understanding this now. And now we have to come out of debug and close the project. So that's the end of factorial program. Thank you.